welcome to today's video. Now, if you're a collector like I am, you like to display your games, um, something like this, where everything's bent out of shape and it's been crushed over years of abuse, um, or it just didn't survive the mail trip to your house, um, this doesn't really look that good on the shelf. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix this so that you can get a box that you can actually display on your shelf. Now, there's a couple of things you need for this. Um, of course, you need the game box that you want to restore. Um, and this method will work on any kind of paper box, uh, be it from you know, Sega CD like this one, or in television, um, Atari, Nintendo, um, big box, PC games, basically anything that came in a box like this. Um, so of course you need that. Um, you're also going to need a clothes iron. Now, this has the capability of putting water into it and then steam dry. We are not going to do that because water is the enemy. So you never want to put moisture in this and even though it's tempting, never do that. That's, that's bad. Um, but you also need a little kitchen towel like this. Um, so basically, um, if you apply this directly to the box, um, some of these will have a little film on them, a little uh, uh, plastic coating. So of course this is going to melt that uh, and destroy your box. So this is used to protect it and kind of control the heat flow a little bit. Um, and uh, that's really all you need. Um, now you might need a little bit more um, if you know the box is severely damaged, uh, has tears or rips or something in that. Um, I'm gonna make another video showing how to do that, but for this this only needs the clothes iron. Now before we just basically put the clothes iron on here and flatten the whole thing, uh, there's a few things we need to look out for. Um, one is we want to flatten the entire box out first so you don't want to have it in the closed position. You want to open it up, you want to take all the contents out. Uh, in addition, like the Sega CD has some internal structure so you want to take a look at that and see exactly how that is laid out. So in this case, it flattens in this direction right here, which means that when I flatten my box, I have to do it in this direction so that everything inside becomes flat. Now, if I try to flatten it the other way, so this way, then you can see that that box uh, isn't going to you know, move. So by doing that I'll actually destroy the box. So do it in the way that all the pieces align. Uh, take the flaps out and then flatten it on your table taking out all of these little flaps here. Now this particular box is damaged to the point where it doesn't have the top flaps. So but all the other flaps you want to make sure that you get it all out just like this flatten it down take these pieces make sure that none of them get trapped get your clothes iron up to temperature and then take your tea towel um, also I should mention one thing here um, now this is me flattening the box, but the cover is basically your money maker. This is what you want to display. And typically the front has more uh, of a glossy finish than the back of the box. Um, so there's more uh, concern, I guess you could say. There's more danger for this to be uh, uh, destroyed by the heat. So we'll flip it over and uh, now that we already flatten it, that was easy to do. So make sure that we have all the flaps out and then uh, put this 
uh, kitchen towel over and uh, I'm gonna start by having it doubled up and actually quadrupled up uh, I like to have more towel in the beginning so I can test how it all works out. Um, it's easier to remove a layer of towel if you need more heat than it is to basically fix something that you've melted beyond repair. So we'll put this down here and just take our clothes iron and uh, we'll start off gently. So you don't use too much force in the beginning. You want to test the waters, so to say. And then you just flatten it. Um, especially with this box, the sides were really scrunched up. So take extra care around those. And then of course the bottom flap and the top flap, since those are the trouble areas. So we'll do that as a start and then gauge the process. So it's coming along. And, uh, still need a lot more work down here. So we'll take this over again and then continue. And we'll apply a little bit more force this time. Basically, as you go, you can increase the force when you see what kind of effect it has on the box. Um, just remember it's you can always add more but you can never you know subtract once the damage is done. So we'll just apply a little bit more pressure down here in the corner where it was the worst. And uh, again you don't want to idle the steam iron too long in one spot. So like that. Let's see how that turned out. So you can see here that this is actually starting to flatten out nicely. Uh, the same over here. The bottom. Uh, still a little bit more needs to be done right here. So what I'll do is I'll just cover that piece so that I can focus on that area. It'll help me to visualize where that corner is by having the rest of it exposed. So we'll just go over here. We'll use the tip of the iron to kind of come into those little nooks and divots. It might be a little difficult to reach with the entire iron and then go over the whole thing again. So let's see how that turned out. You see now that this flap is becoming more and more straight and uh, it's starting to look really nice. Um, so we'll uh, continue up to the top flap here. And uh, we already know that this can take a little bit of uh, pressure, so we'll just do that. And uh, it's looking really nice. We'll just do a little bit more on the very top there. So you can see that I'm only doing the flap because the box is just below here. You can see the little crease there, maybe with the shadow. So this is just doing the, the flap at the top, trying to straighten that out. That's looking really good. It's a little bit in the corner right there. Just like that. This is starting to look really good. Now, 
judging from the back, um, there doesn't seem to be any issues whatsoever. So I do feel comfortable going to the front because I do want to try to fix this. Uh, now it's not going to be perfect, but I want it to be more flat than what that is. So uh, I'll just do that side here. And uh, see if we can't straighten that out a little bit. So. Just like that. It's looking really nice. In the sense that it's straight. So. I think that is all she wrote for this one. So uh, let me see if I can put the box back together again and uh, we'll compare it to the way it was before. So, there you go. Um, is it perfect? No. Will I be able to actually put this on my shelf? Yes. Um, now, it is important to have realistic expectations when you're doing this kind of restoring. Um, basically, you're not going to take out the, you know, signs of wear and tear, the, uh, the stretch marks, if you like. Um, that is all going to be stuck there. Um, but then again, um, as a collector, um, you don't want people to take something that is broken, uh, restore it, and then sell it as mint or factory sealed, um, or you know, do some shady stuff to inflate the value of the game. Um, this tells a story. Um, this game has seen some bad days. Um, and, uh, you know, this basically just gives new life to it. Um, it. Think of it as fixing a broken foot. You're still going to have the scar tissue, um, and uh, your bone is still going to have uh, scar uh, tissue in that as well. It's going to be thicker. Um, but, you know, you can tell that a bone has been broken. You can tell that a person has gotten a cut. Same with these boxes, you can tell that it's been crushed. Um, but I can now slide this into the shelf uh, along with my other games and uh, it'll, it'll look nice. That's the whole point of this. Uh, now, I do apologize for the way that my studio is looking. Um, I'm still working, in fact I basically just took a break to make this video. Uh, the wall behind me uh, is ready to be basically textured, so that's going to be today's mission after uh, I upload this video. I'm gonna put the texture on here, paint it, put shelves on, and at which point this game will actually slide into one of those shelves right behind me. Um, but in any case, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Um, there's going to be a, a whole series on how to restore games um, and uh, fix issues like this. So this is the basic, just clothes iron, uh, kitchen towel, you're good to go. Thank you.